Okay, so my laptop is fucked right now, as you might have known if you follow me on Twitter. So I'm only uploading via my uh, uh, my phone right now, and I think I'm starting a new series called uh, uh, Jazz Findings. Jazz Findings, yeah, let's call it Jazz Findings. And this first one is, was out uh, one that really snuck up on me. Basically, the point of this series is. Uh, I just find some stuff because I'm always trying to find new ways to express myself in jazz. And uh, this one is really cute. Uh, right now, the only application that I can find for it is in a 251 chord progression, but you can use it. Uh, I'm sure you can find other applications for it. So, as you might know, there are three. There's, th there's three sort of inversions for like diminished chords. There's like. If you start here, or here, or here, and you just keep on inverting, they're gonna end up being the same thing. So like this one, that covers like that whole span. And then the next one covers this whole span. And then the next one covers the... So like if you move back to this, that's literally just this again. So it's like there's no point, like it's just these three. So. Going back, uh, I was playing a two five one. I was playing giant steps, and then I was playing a two five one. And then what I usually do is, uh, I just do the, and then I do the diminished for the for the G. And then I was thinking, hmm, maybe maybe I could do something really funny with that. So I thought, and then I put in another diminished in there. It still sounds really good, and then I thought, well, if those two sounded good, maybe the maybe the last option sounds good as well. So, choose your pick. Basically, like all of them sound just fine. So it's like that really opens a lot of opportunities. It's just like uh, you can use any diminished chord as a substitution in a. In a uh, two five one, that's pretty cool. I like that.